Hey everyone, move my light up a little bit here. Uh, let's see, I finished watching the next Light Speed Rescue episode a couple days ago. Um, the Freeze Zone? Or In the Freeze Zone? Something like that. Anyway, let's see, I have my notes with me in case I uh, forget anything I wanted to talk about. Let's see, the episode starts off in a, like, western setting. And at first, like, I was thinking, is that the same western setting that they used back in Wild West Rangers? And, um, where else did they use it? I know they used this in a few other episodes. They used it in a movie Madness from Time Force. Darn it, now I can't think of... I'm pretty sure there was... Oh, yeah, was it in space? Yeah, for, uh, Onyx, for uh, Planet Onyx, Onyx Tavern. All that was the Western setting. Anyway, at first I thought it was that, but no, it was uh, the Sentai footage. They had their own, like, little Western set. Although, it's not real. Because it turns out to be a simulation that the Rangers are in to test out the, uh, what's it called? Thermoblaster. And, uh, let's see. Um, looking for stuff to talk about. Uh, Ryan is still wherever in the desert trying to f figure stuff out. To... Oh, yeah, and he's trying to contact the Rangers about Diabolico. He manages to get through, but then he's cut off uh, conveniently, like... The Rangers, they hear him say someone's coming, but they don't know it's Diabolico. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, there's a new monster, Freezard, in the show. I always thought he, when he shows up, he says, my name is Freezer. I always thought he said just Freezer. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, but I try on the close captioning. Yeah, it does say Freezard. Yeah, whatever. And then let's see, blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, there's a battle with the rangers, he freezes Dr. Fairweather. Oh, and then there's a weird thing. In addition to being able to freeze people, he can also suck people inside of him and trap them. Very similar to uh, the Invenusable Flytrap from uh, Mighty Morphin. And uh, I'm sure there's a couple other monsters that were able to like, trap the rangers in another dimension or inside themselves somehow. Gross. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Carter is able to get away, because uh, just as Olympias and Freezard are about to attack him, uh, they get attacked by Vipra and Lokai. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see, what was going on? Oh yeah, Vipra and Lokai show up, they have a little scuffle with Olympias and reveal that uh, Diabolico is back to life. And I love the line Diabolico has, Little Imp is how you've grown, thanks to my star power. Love that. Anyway, he and Olympias have a little bit of a fight. Oh, yeah, and then there's a really weird thing that happens. Diabolico, like, sh fires his arm off at Olympias. I didn't know he could do that. <laughs> it's very strange, because, like, if it was a robot monster, like, if it was Louis Kaboom who did that, in fact, I think he might have done that, I wouldn't have, like, thought anything of it, but, like, the demons are usually, like, organic uh, creatures, they don't really, like, take apart body parts like that. It's very strange. Anyway, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, Queen Bianchira shows up, tell them to stop fighting. She brings them all back to Skull Cavern and yells at them and tells them to work together. And I just thought that was kind of funny that they listened to her. Okay, like, at this point in the series, they're all still very loyal to Bianchira. And, uh, so anyway, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, then there's a weird thing. Olympias somehow sends a video of himself to light speed. Like, it plays on the video screens and stuff. Okay, where was I? I had to go do something. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, somehow Olympias made a video of himself and sent it to light speed. Okay. Like, I guess magic or whatever? It's just a very strange thing. Like, uh, I'm imagining... Al Jinxer setting up a little video camera, popping a VHS tape in there. Okay, Olympias, you're good to go. Or, yeah. <laughs> Rangers, I challenge you. <laughs> or, Carter, I challenge you. Whatever. Red Ranger. I don't know. If, does he know Carter's name? Whatever. Anyway, Carter, uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, Carter goes to uh, where Olympias is. Freezer's there. Carter, oh yeah, Carter shoots Freezard with the Thermal Blaster, that frees the Rangers. And, uh, let's see, they defeat Freezard, Jinxer makes Freezard grow. Oh, and then there's a weird thing. The last episode, Olympias 
when the monster grew, darken the skies, and everything goes dark, and it didn't really accomplish anything. Apparently he thinks maybe this time it will accomplish something. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh yeah, and he has an, 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 an additional line. Uh, let's see, he says it's to even the playing field. And so that made me wonder, are the Zords in Lightspeed solar powered, like the original Megazord? Because there are like a couple of times where they say that the original Megazord back in Mighty Morphin was solar powered. Like, I'm guessing the Solar Zord is probably solar powered. It's made up of solar panels, right? <laughs> anyway. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, then there's a line Carter has where he says the sun recharges the Zords. Okay, so I guess they're solar powered. Whatever. Anyway, uh, they defeat Freezard again. And at the demon's base, Diabolico is making fun of Olympias. <laughs> and I thought this was interesting that it cuts from that. Like, this... Um, like, them not getting along, like, they, uh, I'm trying to think of what the word is, I can't remember what the word is for, like, mistrust within a team. Anyway, it cuts from that to the Rangers taking care of Miss Fairweather, who's getting over getting frozen at the beginning of the show, and, uh, let's see, blah, 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 blah. yep, that's the end of the episode, and, oh, and I got my Wi-Fi back, so I was able to look up on Ranger Wiki the trivia for this episode, and, uh, there was some really interesting trivia for this one. Uh, at the beginning, the Freezard monster has a line, uh, Get in my belly! And it says that was a reference to the line of, uh, Fat Bastard from Austin Powers. And I just thought that was kind of funny, because, like, I'm sure that's a line that's been used before Austin Powers. Like, I'm sure there was, like, some old Looney Tune or something where a character says, Get in my belly or something. But anyway, uh, I just thought that was interesting, because it's probably one of the only times... The word bastard is on a Power Rangers website. And then, oh yeah, the other thing on Ranger Wiki was uh, the end when the Rangers are taking care of Fairweather. Joel is pawing around her blanket and uh, he says he's only looking for towels. And it said that this was a uh, mild sexual innuendo, which, yeah, I mean, that's kind of Joel's thing. Like, if the show was aiming a little bit older, there would definitely be way more stuff like that between him and Fairweather. Uh, as it is, he hits on her a lot, but that's about as far as it goes. It doesn't go into, like, innuendos too often. And, um, let's see. Oh, yeah, the weird thing with Ranger Wookie was it said, it's rare for kid shows to do that. Mm, well, this was, like, yeah, this was late 90s, or this was 2000. So, yeah, late 90s, 2000. Uh, was it rare for kid shows to have sexual innuendos? Like, it definitely happened. I don't know if I would say it's rare. It's uncommon, I think, is what I would say. Anyway, uh, good episode. The only negative I had about it was really just the monster Freezard. He's not that interesting, and he gets a lot of footage and time, and a lot of it feels kind of like a waste, because he's just not that interesting. But he is just a one-off monster, and, like, he works for the one episode, and he never comes back. I can't remember. Are there any episodes where monsters come back? Like, I'm sure there's an, a, a Lightspeed episode where they have some old monsters come back or something. I don't remember. Anyway, fine episode. I liked it. Um, don't know what else to say, so end it here. See ya.